Um, I have read the Quran, but perhaps not as thoroughly as I might have, so please forgive any ignorance that I exhibit. Um, <coughs> this evening you've made it very clear that there are severe discrepancies, um, even contradictions between the Gospels and the Quran. And yet I seem to remember that the Quran regards the Gospels very highly, and I was wondering if you could clarify for me what the precise Quranic position is on the Gospels. The term gospel, translated into Arabic, is Injil. And we in Islam, we say, we believe in the Torah, we believe in the Zabur, we believe in the Injil, and we believe in the Furqan. Furqan is the Quran. We believe in all these heavenly books, as books from God. So, the Injil, translated into English, say gospel. Gospel into Arabic is Injil. So what does the Quran say or the Muslims say about the Injil? I say, Injil we believe in. Injil is the revelation which God Almighty gave to the Holy Prophet Jesus. Whatever God gave him is the Injil. We read in the scriptures, in the Matthew, Gospel of St. Matthew, that Jesus went somewhere and he preached the Gospel. Translated Injil. Mark says he went to a certain other place and he preached the Gospel. Injil. Luke says he went to some place and he preached the in gospel, Injil. Then John tells us that Jesus went to a certain place and he preached the in gospel, Injil. I am asking that Injil was Matthew, Mark, Luke and John under his arm. Did he have it? Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, Acts, Corinthians, Philippians, Galatians, Thessalonians, no, James. Is that what he had under his arm? The answer is no. What did he have? A book. Did he? No. It is the revelation which God gave him. That is what he was preaching. The knowledge that God gave him, he was preaching. That is what we believe in. It's from God. We speak very highly of it. But now what you are presenting to us is the gospel according to St. Matthew, the gospel according to St. Mark, the gospel according to St. Luke, the gospel according to St. John, which you in your Arabic translations translate as Injile Matthew, Injile Marcus, Injile Lucas, Injile Johanna. That's how your scholars translate these Gospels. Injile, Matthew, Luca, Marcus, Lucas, Johanna. I said, look, we are believing in the Injile Isa, the Injil that was given to Jesus, not Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. So if you can produce the Gospels according to Saint Jesus, that is what we believe in. We'd like to see that if you have it. That is the one that we respect and revere. I hope that makes it clear. is yours. Here we come, Allah, here we come. 